today we're going to make, and there's an orange cat on the counter. Today we're going to make homemade barbecue sauce, which I would expect to be tasty. And we're going to do some barbecued chicken. Not, not barbecued cat, you bad thing. Okay, guys, and the other thing is we are on episode three of uh, the Appliance Wars. So we're going to work on having some barbecued chicken from the Instapot, from the air fryer, from the oven. Nona Snowden cooks. The goal is to amuse you and help you keep your family fed. First step is you got to get your maters. This is for the homemade barbecued sauce. And you got to cut a little X on the bottom of them because we're going to have to peel all of these and it's easier. The peeling just comes straight up if you ball them for a couple of minutes first. All right, guys, our four minutes are up. We're going to turn this off. And this did have a little more ice in it uh, four minutes ago, but it'll just, it'll do for our purposes at this point. Yep. And we did not plan this effectively. It did not reach the bottom. Okay. Now we're going to let them sit in ice water for a second, and then we're going to peel everything. All right, guys. So after you have put them in the ice water and they get reasonably okay to handle, the skin just comes right off of them because, look, you had already cut that little X in them. So we're just going to remove the skin. And we're going to take this little, I don't know what you would call that, this little thing right here out of there. Okay. The belly button. The belly button. We're going to take its little belly button out. Okay, guys, we have moved our peeled uh, tomatoes into this big pot where we are going to add one cut up onion, uh, about a handful of garlic. Everything I have read about making a barbecue sauce says it has to be a little sweet and tangy, so I am going to add about a quarter quarter cup, eh, probably not even that much, maybe two tablespoons of honey, give or take, and a splash of apple cider vinegar, maybe, if I could get the lid off in this lifetime. Oh, there it went. And now we will find out how it, how it works for making us a nice barbecue sauce. We'll put some of that in there. Of course, we got Mr. Dan Pastorini's Texas style rub. That's going to have to go in here because Texas. Duh. We put in a little of the Jacobson garlic salt, which is fairly tasty. Just a pinch, I would say. Teaspoon. And another pinch of the Jacobson ghost chili salt. Uh, I'm going to crank this up. Let's get rolling. I'm going to put in a little bit of water. I don't want to put in too much water because I don't want this to be taken up all day. We don't know how long it's going to take for sure because I'm just making this up as I go along. And we will find out what happens to this. I'm going to go with that's about enough water. And we're going to boil all of this down. Okay, guys, come here and take a quick look. This is not quite done yet, but I am going to do a quick taste test and see how it is and see if it needs anything. It's coming along. It's coming along, but it definitely needs a little more salt. So I'm going to put a little extra garlic salt in it. And it might wind up needing a little more kick, so we might have to put some more gumbo daddies or uh, the chili ghost pepper salt. And we will check it again after a while. Now we're going to season the chicken. So we're going to sprinkle a little Dan Pastorini's Texas style rub on it. A little gumbo daddy. And a little bit of the chili ghost pepper salt. Okay, there we go. Now, the oven is at 375, and we're going to put it in there, and we're probably going to cook about 50 minutes to an hour until the big pieces are cooked through because you don't want to get the salmonella from the raw chicken. Okay, so I put a cup of water at the bottom of the Instapot because we're going to give the Instapot a go. So we're going to season this the exact same way as we did the last one. Now, I did have to look up on that, um, that interwebs. I had to look up how long to uh, Instapot them. Okay, we're putting the Instapot thingy in the Instapot. And we're going to figure out how to make this thing here work. 
Okay, Instapot, theoretically, 15 minutes. We will check it at 15 minutes. So meat stew. Okay, I'm going to leave it at 20 because that's what it automatically came up to. And 15 minutes for a, a chicken quarter like that. I don't know. I just do not touch. All right. All right. He's cranked up. Okay. And now we have seasoned these exactly right, like we did the other ones. And we're going to load the hair dryer or air fryer, whatever you call this thing right here. We're loading it up. And we did manage to get four of them in there, so that ain't bad. Interwebs said that on the air fryer, you had to put it at 360. So I've set this at 360 already. And you need to do it. It says 22 minutes. So we're going to move that over there. But y'all remember what happened with the chicken wings. We had burnt burn them up. So we are going to check this in 10 minutes and make sure they aren't burning. Oh. See, we needed to, we did need to do this because look, we got a little thinking about getting burnt. We got them all turned over. So they should be fairly tasty. Okay, the air fryer has dinged. Let's see what we got. Well, that doesn't look bad at all. Now I need to see if we are cooked all the way through. Let's see what we got here. Nope, 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 nope. That is not going to do. We got to go a few more minutes. Let's turn it over on this side. Let it go a little longer. We got this up a little, and I'm putting another 10 minutes on it. And that should do it. All right, guys. The air fryer is done, and our barbecue sauce is almost done. I just need to blend this up real good. So give me a second. I'm going to do that. Before we start that though, little R2 has gone off and we have depressurized them. And so now we're gonna take a quick peek. Let's find the, ooh, the biggest one and stick a little thermometer in there and see what happens. Oh yeah, it's good. We are all good, he is done. Now we have to take out the chicken quarters and we're gonna put them in the oven for a little while once we get the barbecue sauce on it. So I will be right back. All right, so what we have done with, to the blended um, barbecue sauce, we put about half a teaspoon of liquid smoke in it just to give it a little more smoky flavor. And we have coated it on the Instapot chicken. And now we're gonna coat it on the air fryer chicken. All right, and apparently, as per usual, I have made way too much, but that's okay. This is going back in little 3PO over here and it is going on for just maybe five minutes. It is not going to be in there long. The Instapot chicken is going over here to go get in the oven. We will go ahead and give these little chickens um, a test to see if they are done. Okay, let's see. Just not quite there. We are still just not quite there. We are still not quite done. Okay, I'm going to barbecue sauce them. I'm thinking that looks pretty good. And we will go ahead and put this back in the oven. Okay, guys, here we are. The air fryer is a little bit dried out. That is not my preferred barbecue chicken method. Instapot is an oven came out about six and one half dozen of another. The only difference, the only major difference is that you have to take them out to Instapot, slather them with the barbecue sauce, put them in the oven. And our homemade straight from tomatoes barbecue sauce came out fairly tasty. But I know it's not as dark as that what you buy in the stores and all of that. And my guess is it's because I didn't add any artificial colorings or sweeteners or ketchup for crying out loud. So there we go. That is it. I'm going to have to say it's the pot and oven. Mm, pretty close. Cook, skydive, have fun, give back.